Hey everyone. So today I'm going to be talking about all of the muscles above your knee. So those are going to be the muscles which are either moving your knee or your hip. Just a reminder, your hip can do flexion, extension, abduction, adduction, lateral rotation, and medial rotation. Your knee, on the other hand, because it's a hinge joint, can only do flexion and extension. Starting from the front, this is the psoas major and iliacus. These are both hip flexors. You have more hip flexors on the front of your leg, including the tensor fasciae lati, the sartorius, and the rectus femoris. However, they do more than just flexion. Um, the rectus femoris is in between the vastus medialis, the vastus lateralis, and underneath the rectus femoris would be the vastus intermedius. Together, those four muscles make up a group called the quadriceps femoris. And the quadriceps femoris are responsible for extending your knee. The tensor fasciae lati does flexion, medial rotation, and abduction. So because it's on the outside of your leg, when you pull on it, it can abduct. The sartorius, on the other hand, does flexion, lateral rotation, so medial rotation, lateral rotation, flexion of the hip, lateral rotation at the hip, and if you follow the sartorius around and look to where it connects to, that tells you what its third action will be because it's hooked to the back of the tibia so it can also flex the knee. So flex the knee, flex the hip, lateral rotation. Then if we start looking at the medial side of the leg so anything on the medial side is going to adduct. So that would be the pectineus, which we can only see a tiny piece of here. Pectineus, adductor longus. Next to the adductor longus is the gracilis. Next to the gracilis is the adductor magnus. So those are the four adductors that are visible on this model. There's also an adductor brevis, but we can't see it here. If we start rotating around to the back, when you're on the back, this is where you're going to find your hip extenders and knee flexors. So next to the adductor magnus is the semitendinosus, which is laying over top of the semimembranosus. So the semimembranosus is peeking out on both sides. Next to those, is the biceps femoris and those three muscles together make up the hamstring group. So the hamstring group flexes the knee and extends at the hip. So they are the antagonists to the quadricep group which extends the knee and the rectus femoris flexes the hip.
So from the biceps femoris, if you rotate around first, you can see that the biceps femoris has two heads, which is why it's the biceps. And then you'll find we're back to where we started at the tensor fasciae lati. But we're not done because we didn't cover the glutes yet. So this big one is the gluteus maximus. The gluteus maximus can abduct at the hip and also extend. If you take that off, underneath is the gluteus medius. The gluteus minimus is not visible on this model, but it will be underneath the gluteus medius. The gluteus medius abducts and medially rotates. So gluteus medius medially rotates, tensor fasciae lati medially rotates. Underneath the gluteus medius, this triangular muscle is the piriformis. And all the way on the bottom, the square muscle is the quadratus femoris. The piriformis and the quadratus femoris are both lateral rotators. So remember, lateral, lateral, medial, medial.